Schwarzenegger Robin hit him with the I'll be back, I'm coming later Back and forth, a verse is dirty like I'm fucking sick Back and forth, I'm swishing in the village like a Laker Put the bullshit aside, put your time's up Pussy boy, the bulls finna rise Put the bullshit aside, put your time's up Pussy boy, the bulls finna rise Catch a savage, a rabbit teeth in the bone marrow Feral rabbit, 360 flipping the scene like me You there, bro? Yo, you can hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Oh, we're high, right, but yeah. Good shit. How you doing? Sorry, it's hard to tell if I'm talking on this shit because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> oh, it's all good, man. How you doing? Chill, sure, bro. Just working on stuff, honestly. Hell yeah. I can't wait to hear the new shit. Yeah, I just dropped the EP. Um... Too. I don't know if you bumped it yet. Uh, Eli did show me a few of the songs. So it came out real good. Firstly, I wanted to ask you that you're like very prevalent in the trash community, the trash scene. Like, how did that come about? Um, I would. I basically uh like help start the group like season one pretty much what happened like uh Grim had like a uh, Facebook page or whatever and I kind of like already had like my own shit going yeah and kind of just like teamed up and then uh you know dude just ended up start making YouTube videos and it's pretty much you know the path we went that's crazy how it's grown so much man <laughs> Yeah, it used to just be, like, Facebook posts and shit like that. I know, that's crazy. So, did you have this whole look and style in mind before you started making music, or did it shape and form along the way? Uh, I would say, I would say it kind of, like, just came along the way, you know? Like, I have that uh, thing where you just, like, see faces and everything, like, in, in like, walls and, like, like, dirt and shit and, like, I kind of just saw like a uh, like a like a rabbit made out of uh, like snow that was like kind of just you know like melting and shit. Yeah. And I just ended up using that instead of uh, you know uh, what I was doing before, like in uh, the sad gang stuff, because it was just like real uh, a different aesthetic than I wanted to do with cruel comment. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, man, it's really been working good for you. Like I had to say, like. It's very recognizable when you see it. You know who it is. Yeah, I've, I've like, uh, I've featured on stuff anonymously, and people would recognize my voice. I find that kind of amazing. But yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I try to keep my own sound. Uh, so me and Eli talk a lot, and I've been seeing this new shit about villains this new project like how's that been going and what's it's all about oh it's not a definite name we're gonna probably change it i'd say it's just like a like a, a like a how would you say like a blueprint we'll probably end up yeah. changing the name eventually and stuff like that it's just like um I would say, like, we're just trying to do, like, some music shit where all of us are just kind of bored with solo shit, so just trying to, like, team up and do stuff. Yeah, okay, so you all kind of wanted to step away from the solo shit for a minute and kind of do a, so, some group work? <laughs> well, not necessarily step away from solo stuff, because... Just, like, temporarily? You know, I, I make a song a day type of shit, so, like... Right. I got time to record with group stuff, too, so... Hell yeah, man. Um, I seen the artwork Eli did, and it looks fucking amazing. Looks great. Yeah, I, I, yeah, he got a cool ass style. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, fuck. <laughs> like he's done so much shit for me. He's fucking great at that. Yeah, his style is real. Like, um, how would you say, Aqua Team Hunger Force? I, yeah, I that style exactly. A lot. And um. He's making an animated video for uh, Bill Saber, which is like, it looks so dope. Yeah, it's pretty lit, man. And like, uh, I, don't, I don't listen to that guy's music. 
I don't really, I mean, I know who he is, but I don't really know who he is type shit. Honestly, I don't really know much of his music either. I just fuck with his hair. <laughs> yeah, he got cool hair, I say. And, uh, you know, Eli uh, co-founded Dejected, and me and him work very close, and we got some dope-ass songs together, and yeah, he's been telling me a lot about you, so I had to get you on here. Yeah, yeah, we was we was planning on teaming up for a break and doing some stuff. He's been doing like cover photos and stuff for like uh, for my solo stuff. So I'd say that you know Eli's a good dude. Uh, I kind of right. get him mixed up with my other friend Eli because I know like two Eli. So <laughs> yeah, I just call him like the rats. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you mentioned to me in our last interview about this new EP or album. Um, Cruel Raid 2, I believe it was called. And, uh, yeah. So is that being dropped soon, or did you already drop it? And how was the per like, how was the process working on that? And, like, what can we expect to hear? Cruel Raid 2 is out right now. It dropped on the third. Hell I, yeah. Basically, how I'm looking to do right now is just, uh, drop a bunch of music videos for it, just spread the aesthetic around it, you know. Probably do some AMVs on trash and stuff like that. Other than that, like, uh, I'm just going to stay busy and work on more projects. I have, like, another album coming out called The Adventures of Cruel. So it'll be pretty dope. Oh, hell yeah. So I want to talk about Sadgasm and, like, how and why did you come up with this? And, like, what's the idea behind it? Was it just, like, for promotional reasons? Sadgasm was like just this thing I was doing before rap music. Like I just kind of like had this page called Sadgasm. Like both, uh, me and my boy was just like homeless and shit, just posting aesthetics and stuff, and ended up making music and uh, kind of just got the name around. Um, I was just like searching up random Japanese names and just kind of like patched it together. Oh hell yeah! I fucking, it's definitely got that like perfect vibe to you know get people's attention for sure. Yeah, a lot of people don't even know that, like, the, um, the kanji at the end of it is, like, I, I usually, I picked it because it looked it like, a um, one of the, one of the clouds from Dragon Ball Z, I forget the name, the Nimbus cloud, actually, uh, yeah, it I know just like, so I was like, yeah, I want to add that to my, to my name. <laughs> Hell yeah, man, I love it. So, how did it come to be, like, how did you end up meeting and building a relationship with your producer? Oh, uh, Raid? Yeah. Oh, I found, uh, I was working on submissions, um, for Trash, like the YouTube channel, and basically, I found, like, one song that I heard from him, and it was, it was, like, really dope, and, like, um, but it was, like, more, it was more, like, electronic EDM, like, like um, All like, right. Bass House type shit, and, uh, I was like, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to rap over Bass House and beats for a while now but like um kind of makes kind of make it more hip-hop so like that was kind of like the idea was just to like mix like edm with hip-hop and i just kind of like encouraged him to move away from edm to hip-hop because there was just like a bigger scene for him in like hip-hop because he's such a good producer you know so oh definitely he's I doing his thing he's now he's definitely grown a lot since he came to hip-hop yeah everything i've heard recently sounds fucking amazing yeah, Ray's a good guy. Uh, you mentioned that you get compared to Tyler, the creator, often. Um, do you enjoy hearing that, like, comparison, or does it get bothering at times? Honestly, I'd rather get compared to Tyler than fucking Bones or, like, um, Suicide Boys or, like, any of these guys who are, like, just real prevalent in the underground because it just kind of gets fucking annoying where they put you in like this this little fucking tiny box when you and because I mean there is a lot of dudes who copy those guys but like my shit don't sound nothing like them so I'll just you know yeah. it, it would sound stupid to, to even say like oh this you know Krokame sounds like Bones or Suicide Boys I don't fucking even rap on Funky so I don't you know I don't even want to hear that shit so I mean the Tyler shit is cool though you know I fuck with Tyler I fucked with uh, Future as like a young kid and stuff growing up uh, I found them through uh, Capital C's actually 
So yeah. Oh cool yeah, guys. man. You definitely mentioned cartoons being a major source for your inspiration. Can you name a few for reference? A few cartoons that really like inspire me are like Super Jail and uh, I say like Aqua Team Hunger Force and um, not necessarily like a cartoon but Quasimodo, like the artist, his, yeah. his art really uh, inspires my art a lot. That's awesome, man. So, are you really, like, big on performing live, or is that something, like, you, you know, it's not kind of your thing? Um, I believe, I believe every rapper should be an MC, like, being able to rock the crowd. So, like, you know, when the, when the crowd is, is open, I, I'd like to do it. But, like, as far as, like, virtual shit, like, I don't really, that shit is kind of awkward. Like, it's not, yeah. it's not really my thing. I agree it's, with it's that. Not, it's just not my thing. Yeah, I see a lot of these, uh, like, online festivals, and I just, I feel like in another dimension, I, like, it's like, this ain't right. I can't even pay attention to that shit, like, I have short attention span. <laughs> oh, dude, me too. I watch, like, five minutes of it and just turn away, like, start playing, like, League of Legends or some shit. <laughs> Fuck, for real. Earlier, you just mentioned that, uh, so, do you take, like, submissions uh for trash uh I, I me personally like um i i will reach out to an artist and um if i if i like them and i'll like uh dish them to the group type sh type shit you know uh as far as like submissions for trash like there's we have like a website where people can submit to and uh a back end team that will vote on it so it's like a fair a fair voting process pretty much hell yeah that's awesome so it's fair to say that you're pretty deeply rooted right with trash yeah i'd say yeah um with with like the underground i'm kind of like i just started like around 2017 so i mean i wouldn't say like i'm as rooted as like somebody like eddie baker or something because it's like oh gee you yeah. know <laughs> eddie baker's dope yeah i kind of just like made my own path with my boys and that's it didn't uh, you mention, um, like, Eddie Baker threw you a verse or something for free or something like that? Or Oh, uh, yeah, I reached out to him and asked him for a verse. And he, yeah, I, I mean, I was playing, like, PS4 and shit with him before, like, I asked him for a verse and shit. And I kind of just, like, randomly, uh, I don't know, we were just randomly talking about music. And, and he was just like, yo, I, I collab with you. And I was like, where the hell am I to send you a song <laughs> hell yeah man kind of worked out like that uh what can we expect to see in 2021 from you a lot of controversial songs <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> and a lot of shit talking songs too real bully rap on that topic um i seen that like Suicide Boys Bones this was that just kind of to fuck around and have fun or was there some real substance to it no I was just fucking around you know like <laughs> that's I what think I, hip hop should be fun that's what I figured you know? yeah I think it should just be fun I, I mean I shouldn't I shouldn't have been like you know Suicide Boys Bones this. I shouldn't have put that in like the title or nothing but I mean I won't be doing that in, in the future I was just kind of doing that just to test the waters and see uh what kind of traction it would get for something like that. But as far as, like, real beef with those dudes, like, I'm I'm not, like, trying to make music and beef with people in the industry. That's just like, not my right. my goal. My goal is to just, like, get in, make as much money, and get the fuck out type shit, you know? Oh, definitely, man. So if you could just give one, like, message to all your fans and supporters right now, what, like, what would you say? Don't be afraid to be different and say shit that people don't like. Hell yeah, man. That's perfect. That's it. Hey, man. Th that was perfect. And I thank you for taking the time to answer my questions. And I hope we stay in touch. And I uh, hope you have a good day or night. I can't remember the time zone. <laughs> hey, you too, brother, man.